Hey everyone, I'm the Doc Bob Lee and I'm your host and uh, you're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through Bronx Media. Just go to BronxNet TV, all right? Leading things off, our first guest is the CEO and co-founder of Tito App Incorporated. And he joins us to speak about the, how the app is being used to help people beat FOMO. And we'll explain that and get people back to enjoying the great outdoor recreational activities our city has to offer. So please welcome to the show, Platone Levitsky. Platone, how are you? Nice to see you again. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me again. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. FOMO, explain. FOMO, so uh, everyone has felt this. It's an acronym called uh, that stands for the fear of missing out. And it's this terrible anxiety you get when you yeah. think People are doing something fun, but you're not. Um, it often shows its ugly face on social media when you're looking at pictures and you're like, ah, oh, they're doing this without me. Or you hear people, your friends did something and you weren't there. And it can be a pretty crippling anxiety. And before the pandemic, 70% of young people were feeling this like almost every day. And it did not get any better since. No. Uh, so, so let's kind of walk down memory lane a little bit um, and how the pandemic, how we got here, because the New York Magazine had this, uh, their front cover is the return of FOMO, and it's it's very New York focused. So Sounds like the uh, the start of a, a, a mystery movie or a scary movie. The it is a scary of movie. FOMO. <laughs> it is a scary movie. They have like these <laughs> bubble letters there, but yeah. um, but the anxiety is real. So, right, we've been cooped up for a year yeah. plus. Um, somewhere around early May, what I call vaccine comfort started kicking in where people are like, oh, okay, maybe I could sort of go outside. Businesses started to return, putting on events. And now- But I can type off my mask. You can do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but they, you know, restaurants still won't do it. There's still like a yeah. little bit of a weirdness about it. But uh, this reopening is actually causing anxiety for people in two different ways. First, there is the extroverts and the extrovert. And I, you tell me which one you are after I tell you, but for the extroverts, people are trying to do everything all at once and yeah. they can't say no. They see an event that's happening, their friends invite them somewhere and they just feel like they have to do something to catch up on this year at every moment. And they wind up doing things they don't wanna do. They wind up spending yeah. money they don't wanna spend, going places they don't wanna go and they can't stop because FOMO starts eating them up. Like, what if I just miss meeting my next life partner? What if I miss this wonderful experience? And they, they can't, you know, we're kind of like, uh, we're, we're slaves to this, to this terrible feeling. For the introverts, it's a little different. How about the introverts? We call it the sweatpants syndrome. So I'm going to say this outright. COVID <laughs> made us no, lazy. A no pants syndrome. Go no ahead. pants syndrome, sweatpants <laughs> syndrome, right? Above the waist syndrome. COVID made us lazy, right? We didn't have to go to work. Um, in many cases, didn't have to go to school, and we got comfortable on our couches, on Netflix, and in order for us to go and venture out, something truly extraordinary has to happen. It's almost like your best friend has to knock on your door and say, hey, it's happening right here, pool party right now, and you're like, all right, let me put my outdoor pants on, and maybe <laughs> I could go, but even for these folks, they're, they're feeling, they know that there's energy out there, but they just can't kind of find the the inspiration to get out of their sweatpants and get out into the real world. Uh, so which one are you, Dr. Lee? Well, you know, in the beginning, I was an introvert way before the pandemic. I don't want to speak to too many people. I was to myself, but the, in working in the community, I became an extrovert. So I still like to be an introvert, though. I still like to, but I can't because I have this new outlook on life where I have to be out uh, tending to people, helping, helping others get what they need out of life. So yeah, but during the pandemic, yeah, I, was, I was doing a lot of things from this very studio. <laughs> yeah. But for the first time yesterday, I went over to uh, my home studio in the office. <laughs> All right. so I was looking around, it was strange. We were uh, talking about the summer jam that's getting ready to happen on October the 22nd. So mm -hmm. we were walking out of the studio, all the artists were up there and, you know, we were gearing up. It was a kickoff. But yeah, I, I, I'm an outrover. Yeah, And you, you, you know, you, you kind of feel that energy, I'm sure, as you walked around. Hey, yeah. 
this is different. This is different than than April. This is different than May. Something no. incredible. It was happening. nice seeing people. You know, I was like, yeah. ah, this is great. But you still have to be cognizant. You have to be aware that you know it, there's a there's a variant out there. There's a Delta variant out there that's uh, very dangerous. So yeah. continue to wear your mask. I came up with the five W's. I mean, no, th th we know there's five W's, but take the three of the, w the of the W's. Wear, watch and wash mm -hmm. wear your mask watch your distance and wash your hands but tell us more about the app so the app is it's it's really tailor-made to help with fomo uh yeah. it's an app that FOMO. shows you <laughs> yeah fomo feels like that you know we joke around but it, it does kind of dig in its fingers into into your heart <laughs> um the app shows you fun new trending and even spontaneous things happening around you in real time. So if you open it, you'd see a map and you'd see a feed of things happening right now. And the content comes from a couple of places. One is it comes from our editor team and local businesses that are putting on events to get back on their feet. The other source is people themselves. If you open the app, you see what people around you are doing for fun right now. Um, and you can choose to kind of say, hey, this is where I wanna go or, or hey, this is not for me. Um, and the, what it really does is it enables people to target what they want to do. You don't have to do everything at once. You don't have to spend money you don't want. Um, and for the sweatpants syndrome people, you'll get a notification if, if something is happening really close to you. And you don't have to go far. You don't have to travel across town. You just got to put on a different pair. <laughs> Or oh, walk, oh, you know, walk, walk, a few, <laughs> walk a few streets and, you, you know, you could kind of slowly make your way back into the real world. So, you know, yeah. we, Tito, Tito is right there for you. We're focused entirely on New York. Uh, we're starting to grow pretty quickly. Um, and the more people use it, the more events, the more, the more kind of buzz there will be, the more, um, the more informed our communities will be. Well, how has the app helped people get back in line? So what our users are telling us is when they receive a notification that something is happening close, they go, you know what? I think, I think I'm going to go do it. I think it's close enough. I think it's exciting enough. And it helps deal with loneliness. It's help, it helps deal with this kind of laziness that we built up, this like yeah. weird feeling we have where we forgot how to socialize. It gets people out into the real world. Um, yeah. I'll, give, I'll give you an example. One of our users, uh, lives by the Bronx night market and they got a notification that uh, Chuck Schumer was there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and they said, you know what? I am going to go there. I usually wouldn't, but I'm going to go there. I'm going to check it out. They had a great day and a great experience. So that's how it works. It harnesses the power of our communities, our small businesses, and our editorial team to bring a truly real-time view to the people. How do people like Jimmy Sullivan get more involved in uh, what you're doing and uh, climb onto the app? And It's easy. Go to the app store, type in Tito, download it, and use it. When you're somewhere fun, when you're feeling the vibe, when you see an amazing street artist or performer, take a picture, upload it to the app, and everybody around you is going to find out that this thing is happening right here, right now. Got any feedback from first-time users? Yeah, first-time users love it. They say, hey, they always have this... Um, oh moment when they open up the map and they find a pin they, they see where they are and they go oh oh my god there's free yoga tonight i i kind of i want to go it's this it's this oh moment you know your eyes can only see what you know kind of in front of you you can't see around so, the corner so from fomo to oh to oh <laughs> <laughs> you got it <laughs> That's a good transition right there from FOMO to, oh, this is yeah. great. All right. Oh, yeah. So let's go. Let's get back let's into go. the swing of things here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think the summer is going to be challenging for people as we kind of yeah. deal with return to life. Um, you know, they call it the roaring 20s. We'll see. Um, but I think I'm hoping that this summer people really take care of themselves and are deliberate about what they do, not stretch themselves too thin. Um, and not also not lock themselves in their rooms to kind of take their time to reacclimate to the world, to the new world. Yeah. And follow the three W's. The three W's. Where? Wear that mask. Where's that mask? Wear the mask. Watch your distance. And, and wash your hands. Yeah. Say hello. Send a shout out to uh, your partner. 
Will do. Will do. There you go. You can say his name. Oh, Victor. Victor, uh, <laughs> when you watch this, just want to say hello to you and hope you're enjoying the uh, the sunny, wonderful vibes of Astoria, Queens. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. One more time, where can we go to get more information on what you're doing? Uh, go to titoapp.org or just go to the App Store, type in Tito. You can't miss us. There you go. Tito, get rid of the FOMO <laughs> and get into the, oh, oh cool. <laughs> yeah. You got hey, it. Thank you so much. Platon Levitsky. He's a co-CEO, the co-founder of uh, Tito App Incorporated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing all that information. And come back again. Oh, thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. You got it. Kick off your shoes and relax those feet again. We'll take a break and we'll come back with some more next on Open.